Hello guys, welcome to a new video on Tower of God New World and this is going to be an account review video. I decided to do one of these instead of uh, like covering the additional things that I'm planning for the new patch because I feel like if I wait too much before releasing an account review video then the accounts will be at a different stage so the like uh, recommendations that I'm going to give are like could be obsolete or outdated so that's why I decided to uh, wait a little bit to release the other ones and just move forward with a few account review videos so today I will review two accounts the first one is the one of Eddie and the second one is the one of Mimo so we're going to proceed as usual I'm going to go over the different colors and the different like origin orb, trust and facility, all those other things. So let's just get started immediately and we can see that this account is level 199 so already like quite advanced in the game but not too much. Floor 26, really good. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the first color which is yellow and here I would say great you just need to increase the report of your Hiwa and get some more copies of BAM. You already have him at three blue, so it's fine. It's not really high priority, but it's always good to get more dupes and also report level four. That's fine. I don't know why you don't have uh, like report six already on Hiwa. I don't know who you spent those resources on, maybe in Dorsey. I don't, I don't know. I didn't check, but yeah, just focus on getting Hiwa to uh, the plus 100 accuracy and then this element is fine. Next we have the purple element and yeah here we can see that uh, Endorsey has a few levels of the report so yeah you probably use the hair pins on her but it's fine. And here your Joaquin is already well built, your Karaka is already perfectly fine and with the Exusia Kimen plus 30 so really good. All the 3D left here is just Kuna gear with report 4 and some more dupes. That's that's all. The next element is the red one. And here I would say okay, you already have Warium built, which is quite okay, but at this floor you probably are already feeling that she's going to, to die too much. And yeah. I saw that you're pulling for Evan Kell, at least in the black market, and I would like I would recommend you not to do it. Uh, she's just too expensive and it's not worth it. The all a three red and even a three blue is way better than Evan Kell. Like my Evan Kell, as an example, is uh, full rainbow. And at the moment she she's almost losing to a viol three blue with like with my Evankel having the ignition weapon almost maxed and with really, really good rolls, and with the all having the pieces around plus 8, plus 12, with just average rolls. So, really, the all is on another level. It doesn't have as much AoE damage as Evankel, but he has crazy survivability, and with the right teams, is just a complete monster. So, I would say. Get the old to three, to three green, and then your red team is set. You might want to get additional copies of Xiaxia, or even of Romei. Uh, I'm still like evaluating her, so I I don't know if I want to recommend her, but she's definitely a solid unit. She she can just provide a lot of survivability. Well, not really a lot. Uh, is fine in some scenarios, but really i don't know not that necessary to me so i would still recommend sexia i don't know if like uh Rome can be better than than her i have no idea to be honest i'm using Rome here and there uh, at the moment but i cannot really tell how important she is because she dies really too quickly probably is probably I didn't position her that well but uh, I must also say that the last 20 floors of the of floor 30 
had a lot of green units the same as floor 29 i would say so i had to like i used two teams one with the vankel warion and xiaxia the other one with romay and viol so yeah i had i used all of them but yeah i don't know if with just one team i would recommend romay over xiaxia for me xiaxia is still a little bit better at least with viol i would say so yeah but yeah i really talk too much i would just say focus on getting viol to three green level up his exclusive equipment then he's going to be a complete monster and then for the support yeah get some additional copies of xiaxia or romay up to you there is really not that big of a difference to be honest then the next one we have blue so you already have a lot of copies of Quran, he's already maxed, so really good job. Uh, I don't know why you max like the report of all other units, but not Hiwa. It's kind of strange, but it's fine. Here, I would just say you need to get the report of Datamashini and Blanc to level four. I wouldn't get any more copies of Urek because he has the same issue as Evankel. You really need him to get at least orange four and even then it's probably better rainbow but evan kelly is basically a mass together to rainbow for orange could work uh, if you run her with the magic resistance and physical resistance pieces in the ignition weapon and even if you have a, a rainbow five you still want to do that but yeah for this element i would say just get more copies of blood road and blank and you're fine you don't need to get more copies for the ssr plus here then for the green element you already have um child endorsing maxed really really good i wouldn't invest anything in the collab units because you don't have enough dupes of them so it's fine like this you just need to get the hard to three red and that's all you need for for this element you could get Luzel and a few copies, but to be honest, I didn't really you like I don't really use her a lot. And there is a better option here in general that I find myself using way more, which is the unit in the bottom left corner, that SR guy. That guy is really, really good. So I would definitely recommend him over Luzel because when you're fighting blue teams this guy is useful when you're fighting uh, green team this guy is also useful because you can increase the resistances etc it's, it's really not bad you can also give energy the heals are not are not that good but you don't really care to be honest here because your zahard if you take him to three red and you give him the lifesteal set you won't really need additional heals so yeah i would say uh i would rather go for i don't remember the name like chun chung i don't know over lozel so you don't need to dupe him up he's already fine maybe you can take his report to level four and maybe turn him into an ssr but yeah i think for that i will make a specific video on the good r and sr characters we have and also which ones i recommend upgrading so yeah i, I think i will make a video for that for sure so yeah enough for the green element overall is fine you already have a good unit maxed child endorse is really going to be helpful for floor 30 onwards as well so yeah overall really really good uh, green element next we have the links and here yeah you already reached like the the level cap so you want to at least get them to a2 and probably even s that will depend on you i would say first get them all to a2 and then uh, go back to working on the terrestrial facility once you're approaching level 280 you can then use these soul crystals again here to get all of them to s that's at least what i what i would do then for the next point here we have the terrestrial facility and you're really close on all of them the dexterity one is the one that you are uh, a little bit more further away from unlocking the second wheel as we can see here are like yeah you you're missing seven a's but strength 
and intelligence uh, are almost there. So I would say for sure you want to use your so crystals here, but first get all the links to A2 so that you have a little bit more time, and then you can uh, you can go back to spending soul crystals here. Probably you might even want to get them to S first, like all the links before going back here, but that will depend on you and how much resources you are getting. So yeah, overall quite good. Maybe you might you might have been a bit unlucky, I think, uh, here, but yeah, it's fine. You'll get there eventually. And now that they reduce the accuracy and evasion of the enemies, is still important, but not too much. I mean, you can you can still uh, survive without it for now. Yeah. Then let's move on to the next topic, which is going to be, okay, well, the origin orb, but you already maxed them all, so it's fine. Nothing to say there. And there, there are the trials here. I would say they're fine. Uh, you're pushing them all as much as you can, so it's fine. And they're all evenly uh, leveled because you have one carry for every element, so you are, you are really well set, I would say, overall. Also, the Trial of Chaos, the standard one, is fine, 260. I would say that pretty much you will get to a similar level compared like to the adventure floors. So like if you're floor 26, you're around 260. If you're floor 30, you're around 300. Something like that, they're more or less uh, configured that way. So yeah, okay. Next, we have the wish list, and here I would say just get rid of us immediately. I don't know why you're still pulling for him, but really, that's not a unit you want. Is just plain, plain useless. You, you don't need him, so just remove him, and you can put like Blair Road instead of him. You already have okay, as I, as I wrote here, you already have one DPS per color, so you can focus on support units or sub or sub DPSs as you are already doing, so it's perfectly fine. And again, remove hats and put Blair Road instead. And when you get one of those supports to three red, you can swap them out and, and just start pulling for blank. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think you can then start focusing a little bit more on the black market once you have all those supports to at the, at the very least three red, then you can say, okay, I have main DPS is set. I have the supports, the three red. I can start using Suspendium on the black market. But yeah. Until then, I would still say keep pulling here even with Suspendium or just uh, don't spend it and wait for collabs or better deals that we get sometimes. Then we have the black market and as already mentioned before, I wouldn't go for Evankel, so just remove her from the from this. And I would say go for Viol until you get him to three green, and then get the hard to three red. Those are your priorities. And after three red the hard, I would say go for Viol three red. That unit is really really broken, and you you would you will also use him against like blue element teams. For some reason, that guy is just. Is just really too strong so yeah that's what I would do all other units either require too much investment or just don't get too much don't give you too much value for the amount of dupes you you give them so yeah and okay that was all for this account uh, obviously if you have any additional questions please feel free to write them down in the comments and I will try to reply as soon as possible but yeah we can move on to the next account which is going to be the one of Mimo here you also wrote me some questions in the email asking me for recommendation for the origin orb SSR wish list etc but for those obviously we're going to go over them once we get to those points and then you also ask the SSR plus recommendation or suggestions for uh, free to play okay and anything specific you should summon for. 
again, we're going to discuss them uh, once we get to the wishlist point and black market point. So yeah, for now, uh, let's just move on to the to the first topic, which is going to be the uh, yellow element. Ah, yeah, sorry. First, uh, just to mention that you are level 127. So the account is still quite fresh, I would say. And adventure floor is 19 for now. You might have already reached 20 by the time this video comes out. Not sure, but could be. So yeah, quite good. Let's look at the uh, yellow element. So also here, I don't know why, but Hiwa is not report six, which is strange, but okay, it's fine. You just have to focus on her, get her to level six report, and that's fine. And then BAM is already level four report, perfect. You should also get level four report for uh, Evan as well, but it's fine. I think you were working on Huarium first, so it's okay. And yeah, just get additional copies of BAM. There is really not much else to, to pull for here. Then for the purple element, you just need to get more copies of Joaquin and get his report to six. Other than that, just additional copies of Kunagero and you're fine. Your Karaka already has uh, Exclusive Equipment plus 30. You don't need to invest in Gustang or any other unit. I think you're perfectly fine with this. You can move on to other elements. Just the core will be Karaka, Joaquin, Kunagero, and then uh, Gustang as a fourth, like as a su second support, and endorse it just to distract. You already have Kiseya at two purple. I wouldn't invest more for now. I would say maybe if you really want to, you could get her to three red, but I would just say stop for now and just move on to different units. You don't really need a sub DPS with Joaquin like anytime soon. So you'll, you'll be fine with just those four units and endorse it as a flex fifth spot. Then we have the red element. So here, uh, again, here you use the treasure maps on Huarion. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> She's level seven report. Cool. Uh, you, since you are almost there, you have her at orange four. You should as well get her to rainbow five so she can carry you until like floor 24, 25, maybe even 26. So yeah, for just five copies, that's definitely worth it. The next step is just get the additional copy of Viol, since you're only missing one, and take his Exusi Akim to plus 30. And again, as for uh, the other guy, just ignore Evan Kell altogether and you'll be fine. You should also get additional copies of Xexia. Here again, you could even get more copies of Romay, but again, it's not really something I I know enough about to, to recommend. I'm just using Romay at times, but I cannot tell which one is better yet. So yeah, if you want to pull her, she's definitely not too bad, but not that needed either. Then for the blue element, here, okay, is a good start since your account is still quite fresh. I would say you have some good units. You have blank at three blue, which is already perfectly fine. I think I had a typo here because it's not blank, it's blank. <laughs> okay, just correct it. Perfect. So blank at three blue, perfectly fine. Maybe you will want to gather Exclusive Equipment to plus 20 and also the one for Qumran. But yeah, just in general for this element, you should start getting some dupes for Qumran because that guy is going to be your main DPS. You don't want to invest in Urek as well for the same reason as Evankel way too expensive so yeah here your focus would just be Quran first blank second as a support so up until like three red maximum and then you want to focus on blood road as well because that guy now that we have the rayana set is really really good i would say as a sub dps he can do his job a lot better now so i i really like the guy you know and i would definitely recommend him then we have the green element. Here is not really like you don't have a lot of investment in any unit and that's totally fine. Your best unit to focus on 
at the beginning will just be the hard. You already have his exclusive Akimen to plus 30, and you will need to take him to 3 red slowly. After the single copy of Viol, your next focus will be the hard for sure. And yeah, but more details when we talk about the wish list or black market. Everyone else, you don't need to invest, just ignore the collab units. Child and Dorsey, you will build her later on, and you don't necessarily need to invest in Lozelle. I would again recommend the guy in the bottom left corner, that Chun Chung. I, I, I never remember how he's called, but yeah. So that's totally fine. Then we have the links, and I would say perfect. Uh, your links are already quite high, so it will take you a lot of time to get there. So for now, don't use your soul crystals here. You will use them in the origin orb. Talking of which, uh, for the origin orb, you should max the yellow tree first, since you're already almost there. It will take time to buy all the books, so in the meanwhile, you can also spend the like the additional resources on the other trees. And since your red team is the, basically the best one uh, out of the uh, like like out of red, blue, and green. Just get the red tree next, and then you can focus on either blue or green over time. So until you manage to get all the books you need for the yellow element, just start building the red tree. That's what I would do. So your purple one is already maxed, that's totally fine. And for your uh, red tree, just go down and get to the plus 50 accuracy node, which is uh, the one here in the third row, starting from the from the bottom. You just need to get the plus 50, and that's your main goal. So again, start building your way down until that plus 50 node, and in the meanwhile, keep accumulating the books for the yellow tree, and then you can fully max the yellow tree. After you have reached like a fully maxed yellow tree and the plus 50 on the red tree, you can then move on to the other colors and start accumulating the books for the red element, and so on, so on, so on, like this. I, I, that's what I would usually recommend, because the plus 50 accuracy is the most important node you have here, especially because you are not going to have the second wheel in the Tresence facility anytime soon. So that's definitely what you want to focus on for all of your elements obviously starting from the most built ones. And again, the blue and the green ones are just the uh, the same as the red one, so it's fine. Just work on them afterwards once the red team is already the same spot that your yellow team is at now, and then you can keep uh, working on a different one and accumulating the red books. Then we have the Tresence facility. For this one, I would say once the core of the origin orb trees is done, that means the plus 50 in every single color, or at the very least, the four most important ones that you are using, then you can move on to the tree essence facility. I would still say go for all the trees with the plus 50 accuracy node, and then you can start thinking about the tree essence facility. But yeah, still, it would probably be as a good idea to max probably three trees and the other ones with the plus 50. It will depend on you once you get to that point, how many nodes you are missing here in the tree essence facility. But yeah, unfortunately, this process is really RNG, really like time consuming and resource intensive. So it will depend on you. So yeah. That, that's what I can tell you, but I don't know uh, exactly then when, when you get there uh, what you should do. Maybe you can ask me again uh, once you get to a more stable point, but for now that's that's what I can tell you. Then we have the wish list, and the units you picked here, I would say they are, they're good. Once you get Joaquin to full rainbow, you want to swap him out and put in uh, Warion in the leftmost spot. And then the next units you want to also get copies for 
Arxiaxia, Blanc, Trellendors, and Lozelle, other than the ones already here on the screen. And obviously, once you max out Warion, you want to put in uh, Kunran, is going to be the next unit you want to build. Then you're going to place in uh, Blanc. And I would say Child and Dorsey, maybe later on, uh, I should also have written Blarod, as I wrote on the left under the blue element notes. So yeah, you definitely also want copies of Blarod. Probably I would recommend him over Child and Dorsey and Lozelle. So right after Blanc, you can go for uh, Blarod. Yeah, next we have the Black Market. And here you are going with Zahard at the moment, which is fine because you want a lot of copies of him. And you already have all the good units that require low dupes already, like Evan, Datamashini, Karaka. You have, uh, yeah, basically those. And Zahard, obviously. So your next copy should be one Viol to get him to three green. That's the absolute priority. Then you want to get to slowly get the heart to three red, and then you can work again on Viol until you take him to three red. That's what I would do, and I think that's the most solid choice you, you can make. For everyone else, like in general, SSR Plus, Carters, uh, other than the ones we mentioned, uh, are really going to be too expensive. Like maybe Kuhn Eden could be okay of three green but i doubt it and i wouldn't invest too much on him he's not going to be better than hiwa other than in certain specific cases against all ranged units but other than that he's really not going to be the best so yeah for free to play players those are my recommendation like viol is really a beast for the amount of dupes he requires that's really a no-brainer then the heart for the same reason, well, mainly because the green element sucks overall, so he's the best carry tank and whatever of the green element. So you also want to get to get him to three red, and he doesn't have the same issues as other like main DPSs that are also close range because that guy has a lot of invincibility frames, so it's going to be fine even if you don't have him at four orange. Still, for orange, is going to be really, really good on him. More than uh, Rainbow 5, because Rainbow 5 is just almost useless on him. You will want to get maybe a couple of Rainbow Stars for the additional accuracy and evasion. But that's really for later, it's not a priority. So for now, like the SSR plus PT I would recommend for you is Viol, Zahard, Karaka, for sure. Those three are really important. And if you get anything other than Viol and Zahard, I would re-roll, uh, just to be safe. And the other two spots, you could go for, like, you could go with the units that require dupes, but not, like, yeah, like, more for the long term. Like, for example, Evan Kell, she requires Rainbow 5, so you can put her in, and just, if you are unlucky, you will get copies of her, but it will be fine in the end. In the long run or you can put units like data machine which i'm personally taking as well to three red because i'm pretty sure she's going to be a really good unit then but yeah i would just add units like evankel burek data machine and if you get them again same as karaka just re-roll the first time and then whatever uh, comes out the second time you will have to keep it but it will be fine in the end so those are the five units I would go for. Well, six, but yeah, you know, those three are fixed and then you can pick two of the other three. I would not recommend getting more copies of Evan, not really needed, and of Data Machine either. Uh, no, no, sorry, not Data Machine, Big Machine, Kun Machine. You don't really need her as well. She's probably the worst SSR plus unit. And yeah, I didn't mention Data Urek at all. And that guy, again, is quite complicated to judge. I think is good at Orange 4, but I have no ways to, to be sure about it. 
I only have him at, at two blue, and he's terrible. Uh, other than like PvP, where he's okay, but in adventure is really really terrible. He's not a tanky in the least. So I would say he might be okay if you want to collect him, like for collection purposes. Maybe put him as a flex spot, and if you get him, cool. But I would not recommend summoning for him. Uh, yeah, I would say that was all. I don't know if you have any more questions, but I think that was pretty much all I could say also on the SSR Plus topic. So again, sorry guys, maybe this time I like changed topic too frequently or I didn't explain myself well enough, but let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.